Yo, what up, street togs, street gods, street vlogs, or Kim the house? All right, but do that what you're afraid of, say that what you're afraid of. So, one good thing about hype living, part living two point EK style is I get some of the best uh, philosophical epiphanies wilts at the gym. So, just at eight plates and 25 on each side. It's getting out of hand. It was actually pretty easy, but before doing it, I was actually a little bit scared, a little scared, right? Um, and I was thinking, I'm like, huh, maybe that is the greatest blessing is that um, fear is enthusiasm in disguise and therefore maybe the most interesting course of action in life is to only do and pursue things which you're like enthusiastic, interested and kind of scared of. Like for example, uh, you know, I've been self-employed for a while now, but when I was still fully employed, I was like really wanted to become self-employed, but I was a little bit uncertain or, you know, whatever, scared about, you know, making the jump. I'm like, had no money saved in the bank. Might've had like $500 in the bank or in my savings account and stuff. Uh, so taking the leap was honestly an act of faith in so far much I was just like dude fuck it like you only live once I know if I'm gonna get older I'm gonna regret not trying to do this uh, same thing with investing in Bitcoin and other cryptos I'm just like I was really interested and passionate about it and how it's gonna manifest in the long run is is besides my my control but at least it's something that you know it's kind of a little bit scary to invest in but I think that's also a sign that it might be a good investment because at least you're interested enthusiastic about it and ultimately how it ends up is kind of besides the point I think one should philosophically only do and pursue things which one's a little bit scared about so for example street photography right I really think that 99.9% .9 of street photography is conquering your fears and it's kind of been my bread and butter workshop the last decade plus and the reason I'm so interested and passionate about it is I don't know it's just like one of the nice things is the conquer fears in street photography and people blah, 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 and then it just translates into other parts of life um this is also where I think that weightlifting hype lifting attempting an insanely heavy weight one rep max style that actually provokes a little bit of fear of you is good so before lifting the thing if you know with 100% confidence that you're su you're successfully going to able to do it it might not be worth attempting and this is why doing reps and stuff like that is generally uninteresting to me um I just want to attempt something that I've never uh, personally seen before. So yeah, with life and entrepreneurship and just anything in life, maybe only pursuing and attempting and heading towards that which, you know, provokes a little bit of fear of you is um, a good thing. So also the conquering the fear of being weird. Flexing in public is the only place to do it. <laughs> 